So today in our class, we worked on proprioception with our sando steppers. Those were the squishy, the squishy units that the athletes were jumping on and off of. But you notice today, our emphasis was a lot of barefoot training. And barefoot style workouts allow for the shock absorbers underneath your feet. Those little muscles have to be developed. And oftentimes when we wear shoes, a lot of those smaller muscles that help uh, accessory work or the, the, that help accessorize our bigger muscles, they get over overlooked. So it's really important to sometimes slow it down, take the shoes off, and teach the athlete how to visualize the foot inside of the shoe versus trusting their cleat or whatever athletic shoe that they're wearing to do their planting. So that was a good example of what we did today. A lot of proprioceptic work, change of direction, allowing those shock observers to turn on, and teaching those athletes how to properly utilize their shoe. That's it, that's it, that's it. Stay on the ball with the feet. Don't let your, don't let your heels strike, guys. No heels. There we go. There we go. Stay loaded, stay loaded. Good. Come yes. on, guys, guys, stay loaded. Right. Right. Now, where's the tempo? Where's right. the tempo? Where's your razor blade? Don't let this guy outwork you. Don't let him go faster than you. Come on. Know where you're stepping. Know where your feet are. Come on. You got it. Let's go. Work your razor blades. What we call these, JJ? There you go, champ. Be quick. Be quick, JJ. I see you. Oh, attack, champ. Attack. Attack, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Razor blades, Razor blades, right? Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Good. Get up. Get down. Get up. Get down. When you jump up, what do you think that's good proprioception or poor proprioception? This good shock absorption is what's developed when we use no shoes. So make sure you don't allow your heel to strike the turf, stay loaded up on the ball of your feet, and give those smaller muscles underneath your feet an opportunity to develop just like the big ones. Everybody understand that? Now with with no shoe training, you can tweak and twist and burn and get get uh, friction burns. So make sure that you don't allow your foot to slide when you plant. When you plant, you stick your foot on the ground and don't slide it through. That's where blisters come. You guys understand that? So I want to see you guys rock and roll. I want great tip for what Top Girl is doing. Lead with the lead with the ball of your foot, not your heel. Coach, here we go, man. Shuffle up, shuffle up. 
Come on, get back. Get up. Ah. See how, hey, get back. You see how that plant, you don't have to leave right now, Chef. Get there, get there. Get him up. Good, oh, let's go. One more, one more, Let's go! 